Hello, beautiful humans. How the hell are you doing today? Got off a plane earlier today, flew back from Asheville, where I went to visit my friend for my birthday, and I went grocery shopping, I meal prepped, and now I'm tired. My last video was a little weird, but I, f I just wanted to create something without an agenda. I just wanted to create a thing for myself, and that is what that last video was, so I hope that you found it entertaining in some kind of way. If anything at all, I hope that you enjoy the intro to it because that took me way too long to create. Oh, I love editing. It's so fun, but it's so time consuming. So I went to Asheville. My intention had been to do a little vloggy thing of the trip um, as, as well as like a reading vlog because I read a couple books while I was out there. So, like this weird non-characterization of the four dudes that have randomly hired this chick and it was also really weird how they reacted to her being like so why did you just show up and find me all of a sudden and just like i don't know there's a lot of things that don't make sense the fight scenes and the characterization of the main character super dope super enjoyable but i'm like 70 percent of the way through this book and i'm just like so the things that we did do i just didn't feel like filming um or i couldn't film we went skydiving it was incredible so i'm here today to talk to you about the books that i read one of the books that i read was a dnf and one of them was like a voracious read we have the wasteland by k.a knight which i'm really disappointed by particularly because the first 60 percent of the book was awesome i was totally into the world building i was totally into our main character because we all know if you've seen the videos on my channel, I'm a sucker for the, the badass, the badass bitches main character trope archetype words. I think the fact that I was just really enjoying everything and then it all just went to shit. I think that was what made me the most sad and frustrated. If it had been subpar from the beginning, I wouldn't have been as as saucy about it <laughs> it was kind of like we got to this situation with pacing and the pacing became kind of non-existent we're pretty smart we can catch on to things you don't have to verbatim or like shove it in our face about certain things so like i think the author had really good intentions with this like with consent it did not translate well also the fucking dudes where were their personalities they were all mysterious and then suddenly bam they're just spilling all their secrets and i don't know it just seemed like a lot of build up a lot of mystery build up for no no big punch no big climactic reveal no tension ah we love our tension so yeah i dnf'd i kind of want to know what happens but i just i, I pfft, it's not worth it so instead i picked up lilac I forget the author's name by bb reed which is a contemporary reverse harem which okay i read the little blurb from this and it was like four rock stars one of them dies three rock stars remain they must go on as a band they need a new guitarist this girl is gonna be that because she's like a prodigy and a badass musician anyways I was really unimpressed by that and I kind of thought it was going to be stupid. This story is essentially about this chick who has um, kind of a traumatic past. She is 22, she lives in LA with her roommates and she's a really great guitarist and she winds up with this opportunity because she was scouted by the person who is connected to this famous international rock band. So, they're really mean to her. This is an enemies to lovers. So, if you're into an enemies to lovers reverse harem uh, with three dudes, one chick, and mild male male loving, then you'll love this book. The pacing I thought was really awesome. I loved the fact that the main character had synesthesia. So, we really got this really floral, um, visceral 
look into her emotions and like the emotions that unfolded throughout the story and honestly like the plot itself was kind of predictable and not really revolutionary but i i don't know the pacing was just perfection in my opinion and uh the characters themselves were just the right amount of flawed this is kind of a mild enemies to lovers nothing happened that that they couldn't come back from and because this is a standalone book that was beautifully done in my opinion by the author because then you're not spending all this time trying to convince us that oh well it makes sense that he murdered her best friend and then they're in love by the end of the book like that that's in what world does that make sense <laughs> i don't know we read some really fucked up fantasy shit oh well you just died okay you're back incredible book five out of five stars genuinely I think you should read it. Both of these books I found off of TikTok. I've been going through book talk. I'm back on TikTok. I'm back on social media. It's been a weird time, but I feel really good. Honestly, I haven't really talked to you yet <laughs> about why I left. I'm all over the place. Let's just get the book stuff out of the way so that if you don't want to hear me ramble about myself and my life, then you can tune out. Wasteland by K.A. Knight. Eh, did not finish would only recommend you if you're really forgiving. If you're into a contemporary standalone enemies to lovers with some awesome sex scenes and really great character development, then you should definitely read uh, BB Read. <laughs> Lilac. Anyways, okay, moving on. Me, hello. It's weird. It's weird being back talking to myself, talking to a camera. But I'm also really happy to be back and excited to be back. I'm excited to create things that I enjoy and I'm excited to talk about books. It's been a time. Obviously, we've all been really affected by the pandemic in various ways. I'm in no means, this is not a woe is me. This is not a cry for help. This is not a feel pity for me statement. It's just acknowledging that I have also had a really shitty time through the pandemic in my professional life. Like I started a business right before the shutdowns and I've, you know, been having to pay a lease that I didn't get to use. And like my business was stunted for essentially almost an entire year of the lease. So like on a professional financial side of things, it's been incredibly stressful. I'm also very privileged and very lucky to have a life mate who makes enough money to allow me a roof over my head. I've also been going through some like self-realizations and trying to figure out like a better relationship with myself and how I can want to do life with myself because ultimately in all of our relationships, the one right here, well, not you and me you isn't who I'm seeing in the viewfinder and me that's like that's that's the most we're gonna get like that is the constant that we can count on look in the mirror bitch that's your for real ride or die I also had a really shitty I was having a really hard time I was really depressed something uncomfortable and bad happened that triggered some past things for me that sent me into an even deeper spiral which had me like I was gonna leave my life essentially like my current partner my life here where I live like I was just prepared to run away and never look back because I was in a really bad place <laughs> things are better every day and it feels really good to feel that. So if you too have been going through a hard time, if you've been looking for escapism in books, if you just want to chat about anything, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. Or go check me out on Instagram, uh, jspringerdoes. I'm just trying to make it. I think we're all just trying to make it in this world. And this channel is the one place where I I'm not gonna overthink and I'm just gonna express and create and I need to remember that intention so that's why I'm saying it to you here now again anyways go read those books 
hello to you i'm excited to be back how have you been how are you doing please leave me a comment down below or go talk to me on instagram and i will see you guys in the next one thanks for being here thanks for sticking around and thank you to all the new subscribers trickling in probably from my reverse harem videos don't you worry i got you some more reverse harems coming along the way i have an entire archive of reverse harem book talk videos and i'm working on a book talk recommends me reverse harems reading vlog or review or something we'll figure it out i'll see you guys next time bye Thank you.